we are back uh, in my garage. That usually means I'm about to mangle a Starlink dish. So what we have here is the portable version of Starlink, the RV version. This is why I wanted Starlink. The idea here is to mount four magnets onto the base, very strong magnets, and to keep this uh, sturdily on the roof of a car while we're traveling uh, down the roadway. One of the uh, magnets here, they're circular based magnets. You can find these on Amazon. They're very high end, very strong magnets. They're probably easier just to take this base off. I'm gonna see if I can do this without taking the, the base off though. So we got one there. Just through here. And then we'll tighten this with an Allen wrench after the fact, uh, but we're just gonna kind of do a quick little Quick and dirty install here. We have our dish, the magnets installed. We have just all the electronics just kind of thrown inside for now. So what we're gonna do is throw this up on the roof. Now these are four 100 pound magnets. So um, in theory, this thing isn't going anywhere. I'm gonna try and avoid drilling holes and things like that, um, at least for now. Um, we might get a little bit more of a perfect solution down the line. Uh, but you have all the electronics just kind of sitting inside, so we'll kind of tidy up some of this. that we're going to be using here is a Jackery power unit. You can see that uh, we are fully charged with this thing, as it was when I first started pulling it on. Uh, right now you can see the output to the Starlink is about 75 watts, uh, but this will peak well over 100. Uh, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Um, in terms of the setup, right now kind of just real basic. We have just everything all plugged into this little box here. Uh, the Starlink Wi-Fi router thing is right here. All the power brick and everything is inside of here. And so we're trying to kind of keep it all contained as much as possible. Um, it'll all be powered uh, via the Jackery power unit here. And then up on the roof of the vehicle, we have the Starlink dish itself um, ready to do the thing. We'll see how this kind of transpires. Uh, we'll see if this Jackery unit uh, kind of can keep things powered for quite some time. It is the 500 unit. And um, we also are going to be able to charge the uh, jack unit as well um, if things start getting pretty low. Um, you are not recommended to charge it while using it, um, but you can. And so I think that's probably what I'm going to be doing. You can see right now it's at 85 watts. thing going over 55 to 65 miles per hour on highways and looking through the video this thing didn't budge at all I feel pretty confident about taking this up to interstate speed 70 75 miles per hour but with that said it will probably add some type of uh, disattachment to the roof rack as well just for extra added uh, protection we might add it kind of underneath and through the uh, wire cable management hole there on the bottom just to really make sure this thing isn't going anywhere but otherwise um, the mounting strategy we're doing, I think it's working very, very well. This thing is not going anywhere. We've been running this now for over an hour and a half, and this thing is still at 72%. So the Jackery unit doing very, very well. A lot, a lot better than I would have expected. So if you found this video interesting, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Subscribe for more Starlink and Jackery content. Really excited to use this thing and all the different things I might be able to use this for in the future. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.